Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. And it's good and exciting to be here once again this morning to share with you what God has put in my heart. And this morning, I want us to look at the power of seeking the face of God. The book of uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Allow me to read this and greeting from Eldoret. My name is Reverend Elphas. It has been a good time together this week sharing with you a devotion. The Bible says in verse 3, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Some Bible say, and these things will be added unto you. The power of seeking God first. We seek many things, and sometimes we seek our own things. I've seen people, once they get a bonus, they get their dividends, they get their salary, they get their interest, the first person they think is about themselves, to give themselves a treat, to give themselves a pleasure. But in this passage, the Bible talks about, but first seek the kingdom of God. God is saying that when we seek him, there is some power. There is some power. What is the power? Now, those things that you've been seeking will be added unto you. So some of us have thought that maybe by doing whatever we do, um, God will be added into our lives. No, that is a reverse way. The power of seeking God first. Making God a priority comes when we know the order of serving God. Worship God only. That is one of the commandments. And say there will be no other. So God is asking us that we can seek him. And the things we are pursuing, they will follow us. Some young people believe that in the sense of uh, them seeking pleasure and doing whatever they want to do, they think at one point they will get saved. So God will be added to their lives. This morning I want to tell you, it's the reverse. Today, if you are not born again, or you are a person that has been living and you think maybe when I'm old or I'm growing, when I've accumulated this, is when I go to church. God is saying, give me priority. Sometimes many of us would want to go and do our own thing so that we go to church. I want to tell you, make God a priority in life. God is not just an extra. He's not just an AOB. He's the main person in our life. He's a God that leads us. He's a God that guides us. And I want us to make God a priority. When we're doing things, let's not see God as he's removed far away, that he will just come in one point as a by the way. He is the main person of our existence. Not just of any. I thank God for this devotion. It's meant to challenge you that before you do anything, pray. Before you do anything, read the word of God. Before you do anything, think about what God would do in this situation. You are a person that is doing an assignment. Do you see God's will? Do you see God's power? Do you see, or God just come later on and say, God, thank you, you led me. So if God was not with you in the beginning, how comes you are acknowledging in the finishing? Let's actually relook at our priority and our work as we go to our various places of work. Even when people offend you, make God to be a priority. Do not just see God as a by the way, that we go to seek our own things and many things. I have said before, and I want to repeat on this channel, and I have not said it on this place, that things do not go wrong. They start wrong. Things do not go wrong. They start wrong. When they don't start with God, when they go wrong, it's difficult to rebuild, and to rebuild, to be able to put them in place. God is asking us that may we seek his face. May we seek him, and he will add to us what we are pursuing. We are looking for a job. Seek God first. You are looking God for a partner, see God first. You are looking God for promotion, see God for first. You are looking God to establish you in any of the broken relationship, see God first. Do not go to the Wagangas and come to God later. You are looking for an elective position, see God first. Do not make Him the last priority. He matters. May we see that in your prayer. May we see that in your sacrifice. May we see that in your attitude. And may the Lord bless you. As you get to your work, seek God first. There is power in seeking him first. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We repent of every way and any way. The Lord, we have sought things without consulting you. 
where we've done things without looking at your power, at your anointing, at all things that you anticipate us to do, O oh God. I pray that you be magnified. I pray that you be exalted. I pray that you would walk with us and help us, O oh God. That in everything we do, we see and be able to recognize you matter, O oh God. I pray for each one of us. Some of us are disoriented. I want to pray that we will still put you first priority. We have been disappointed. Maybe we have prayed many times and things have not come to our favor. In the name of Jesus, may you walk with us. I pray that you bless us. I pray that you walk with us. I thank you and I honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.